Relationships is one of the first things I would say that's really important. Um, so um, sometimes as a researcher, uh, you're you're doing interviews, and, and that might be the one one or you might meet someone once or twice, and it's very privileged position to be in because actually people can share um, some quite deep experiences with you. Um, but then you don't have any kind of continued contact with that person necessarily. You might kind of connect with them and say this is the kind of the, the end result of the research. So a traditional research project, you, you have less kind of ongoing connection and um, collaboration with the people who, you're, who you might be um, a sort of working in an area of research, whereas with co-production, actually it's all about the collaboration and connection and relationship and, and taking and, and really ensuring that the people whose research so research is of focus on a particular issue actually they are the people who know what to do best and how to do it so this was kind of like very much the same with my phd it's like actually it's the frontline staff and people who are using services who tend to know how services need to be changed they've got the most knowledge they've got the most experiential ex sort of practical knowledge experience they they know what it's like um whereas actually a lot of top-down policy doesn't really under understand the issues and so it's very much about being having much more kind of democratic uh approaches to services rather than it being kind of like professional kind of service user actually people who who are the people who use services know generally what they need and actually often aren't given the opportunity and resources to be able to to have that. 